everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yoso Boho. Welcome back to my channel and to a Tuesday night tabletop thrift haul. Tonight, this is all from the bins. So this is a one day trip to the bin side and the retail side of Goodwill. Um, I'm showing you the bins haul today and then we'll go shopping on Thursday and you'll see the retail side. I was with mom on this day. We had a fantastic day and we found some amazing things. Now y'all know I'm looking for Christmas since we're getting to that time of the year and I wanna get some stuff listed and also a lot of stuff over in our booths at the Shops by the Lake address below. Um, so I'm excited to find some Christmas stuff in the bins because it's super cheap. Mom and I combined our stuff. So it was 99 cents a pound for everything that you see. If it's a kitchen item, so glass or um, ceramic kitchen item, it's actually 49 cents a pound. And I do have some of those things too. So this was a nice inexpensive haul for me and mom. Um, I'm going to go right to the <laughs> elephant in the room <laughs> or actually the giant soldier in the room. So let me give you a quick glimpse up at this cute guy. Oh, look at him. So they brought him out when we were standing in line and he is probably a four foot, maybe just under four foot, um, handmade piece. Look at how detailed. Somebody went in and put in all these beautiful details. He has these ropes and all of these rivets. I don't know if you can see in contrast, but there's rivets all lining down his pants. He's got big googly eyes, which are fantastic. And he's got a tiny little gingerbread guy on his head right on his soldier hat. Somebody did a fantastic job. This is gonna go great over at the shop when we decorate for Christmas and somebody's gonna scoop him up for their porch. I guarantee it. I probably will put, hmm, I don't know, what do y'all think? Leave in the comments below how much you think he's worth. I'm not quite sure. Somebody put a lot of work into him, but then again, I only got him for five bucks. I see on Etsy, these things go for like a hundred bucks, but I don't know that I would do that. Um, I want somebody to take him home. Look at his arms move too. And there's a little Christmas tree detail on his arm here. Sorry, I'm not gonna like take him down and show him in <laughs> closer, but he's just so huge that I'm gonna leave him right there so that we can see everything else. Here's everything else. I'm going to go through this pretty speedy because it's a lot of stuff. I did some research so I can tell you what these things are valued. I, I don't have a scale here, so I can't tell you what I paid for it. Um, just think 99 cents a pound. So if something's about a pound, it's about a dollar. Less, less, more, more. This was a nice find. This is a Fitz and Floyd plate platter. You can see on the back here. It's a nice, cheerful one. Again, it will go over to the shop. I will show you a comp here. I'm thinking at the shop, I'll probably do, you know, like 10 bucks. This is another cute Christmas find. Now I've seen these hats on eBay, just the planter part, but somebody did a really spectacular job with this floral arrangement. Somebody will scoop this up. It's really pretty. Look at the bird in here. It weighs nothing. I would say maybe a quarter of a pound. It's so super light. So I paid nothing. And I'm going to say I'll probably get about $20 for it over at the shop. It's a nice little Christmas centerpiece. Underneath it is this pretty floral tin. And I knew right away when I saw the print that it was a Pioneer Woman. Turns out there is a canister set. This is the largest of them. I also found the white one, but it didn't have a lid. So that was unfortunate. I left that one, but I did pick up this one. It's in beautiful condition. And I think this should probably go pretty quickly on eBay. There's none like this currently posted. It is in great condition. And it looks like they sell individually in the $15 range, $15, $18 maybe. If you have the whole set, probably good, maybe closer to 40. So I'll probably list this somewhere in that $15 to $18 range. Back to Christmas stuff. 
I found a new in the box set of Homeco little kind of miniature figurines. So they would be perfect in like a little Christmas scene for somebody that does the houses or just does, you know, a nice little setup. It looks like these should sell somewhere between 15 and $20. Of course, I'll share with you what I found. A couple of months ago, I found three of these little, they're called the Original S'mores and they are just ornaments and they're adorable. This guy looks like he's about to throw this little snowball. The three that I found a while back were like Halloween themed and this is just a nice like winter themed one. But it looks like these are really collectible and I think all of them are gonna go over to the shop. I probably will put five or six dollars a piece on them. This guy, he weighed nothing so I probably paid maybe a quarter for him. Okay, she might kill me, but I'm gonna show you this hat in action on my mom's head. Sorry, mom. I didn't notice, did it light up? Cause I know. I feel it moving. Oh my gosh. You don't even have to move your head because it's moving. It is. It's going crazy up there. Hilarious, right? <laughs> this is vintage. It was made by Dandy. And I will share with you the sales comps. Um, awesome that we found at the bins because it's a little heavy. Maybe about pound and a half. Um, it's got this big piece in here that makes all that movement happen and when you put it on your head oh my gosh you can feel the whole thing it's like it really moves like violently up there but it's hilarious and i'm sure it will sell on ebay another christmas thing that i found was this cute little mug set it has a polka dot mug and then your little tea rest tea bag rest in the shape of a i think it's a little elf shoe but very cute. These were made by Boston Warehouse Trading Corp. And this is dated 2006. So it's not quite vintage, but I think it'll still go over to the shop. We're gonna fill the shop full of Christmas stuff. It looks like these sell on eBay for about $10. At the shop, I'll probably do something closer to six or maybe eight. I had one more Christmas thing kind of hidden under here. And it is this just printed Christmas, it says Merry Christmas with a Santa. And it looks like one of those old stocking stretchers. Just a nice little hanging. This will go up to the shop. And I imagine this is probably just a, again, like an eight or $10 um, decorative thing. From Christmas to Easter, I found some Easter things. And these are amazing. There was an entire set of these, there's six of them, they're back here. And they are like these tiny little hinged dioramas. Look at how cute this is. Each one of them has like a little scene in it. This one is kind of like a tree house on a little stump. This one says carrots on it. <laughs> Like it's a little shop. <laughs> I love these bunnies that are looking out the window from the back side. They're so cute. And these guys are having maybe some tea. I mean, they are just adorable. Here's a little tree house. It's just so detailed and cute. Now they're all made out of resin and I imagine they're just made in China pieces, maybe made in Taiwan. This one is a drum. They're just stinking adorable. And here's the last one is a tiny little house. Now, can you imagine these if you had a little one and you started gifting these on Easter, maybe like, maybe like when they were like five or something where they would appreciate something like this, but then you got one like every year, that would be awesome. 
for six years until you had your little like village set up. Oh, they are made in China. There's a sticker right there. <laughs> I have not been able to find where these were sold. If you have ever seen anything like this, please let me know and share with me maybe where they came from. I will be holding on to these and probably listing them on eBay in the spring. The other little thing I found that is Easter are these little tiny wooden ornaments. Now they're not worth much and these will go over to the shop. It looks like originally they were sold for a buck. That may have been a clearance item, but they're so adorable and people have those little Easter trees. I don't know if you have one, but they're super cute. Um, if you run into Lennox, little mini Lennox Easter, there are several different sets out there. They are a big bolo. Um, I will share here what some of those go for, but keep your eye out for those, Lennox. Can you see this cute little cat back here? It's 1987 Sam Young silhouette, goes on a corner of a door and it's adorable. Get it? But I'm boom. I may hold on to this because I do love it so. Here, let me see if I can do this. We'll do it on the windowsill. How cute is that? I totally love it. It looks like originally there was a set of three that had cats in different poses, but they were all meant to go like that on the corner of a door. And there are a couple listed. So I believe there's the set of three listed currently for like $75 and then individual like this one on its own, I wanna say for like 30. I think that's crazy, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit and use it on one of my door frames. Um, I love that it just sits there and you don't have to make any holes in the wall or anything like that. And it's just so cute. So I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit and then eventually I'll probably list it on eBay, especially if it's going for $30, because that would just be crazy. <laughs> I'll have my eye on that other one. <laughs> Underneath all of those Easter minis there is a stack of books. And I wanna thank my new YouTube friend, John. Please go visit him subscribe to his channel. I will link it below. Tell him I sent you. He's hilarious. He makes me laugh. His videos are just nice little short videos about the books that he's selling and he's really pretty brilliant. He picks up books at the bins and he sells them online and it's a nice little side hustle. He does really great and he's really great on camera. He makes me laugh so please go check him out but I've been paying more attention now to books and I spent some time in the books at the bins. <laughs> I'm glad I did because I found some amazing ones and some nice old ones and some that are worth money. So this one is a old, it says the new, but it's old, <laughs> the new fun with Dick and Jane. Now, if you are my mom's age, you probably remember these. They were readers. They taught reading. This one came from Maple Heights Board of Education, which is local, but look at the graphics in this book. This is like a 1950s book and the illustrations, there's one on almost every page, are just so vibrant and so fun. I absolutely love them. And this book is actually worth about $30. So that was a nice pickup. It's adorable and I too hope to get about $30 for it on eBay. Then we rounded up six of these Alice and Jerry books, also from the 1950s, also with beautiful illustrations. There is a roundabout, which is like a newer version. I have an older version of roundabout. It's in worse condition because it's older, but it's very cute. Um, Neighbors on the Hill, Friendly Village, The Five and a Half Club, Through the Green Gate. Now, of course, I've shared all of the values here. They're mostly all worth about $11. I wanna say one of them that you saw is worth a bit more, but they're wonderful. And like I said, they have really great, beautiful illustrations. 
These are not marked up with any sort of pen. They're in really nice condition. Um, probably because they were school books, like you weren't supposed to mark in them. <laughs> um, this one says it was from Fairfax, Virginia. And somebody assembled a collection of these from all over the place because one of them I think said Tennessee and one of them said Akron, Ohio, which is right here. So what a neat collection. And I think I may go ahead and bundle this. So I have bookshelves at the shop and these would look really cute there. So I can bundle them and do $60 and see if that happens. Um, but if not, I will make much better money selling them individually on eBay. So I love them though. <laughs> I would love to see them in a shelf here in my house, but, um, but I can't do that with everything as I've said in the past. I would have nowhere to live. <laughs> now the book I am going to keep <laughs> and it's only one. So it will fit right nice in my collection now is this merry-go-round. I remember seeing this book. I don't know where it was. I want to say this is a 1960s. Yes, it's copyright 1960. And the illustrations in here, I remember them as a child. Look at them. Oh, they're so sweet. The colors are so awesome. Yes, I just love it. I just love it. And the colors of the, uh, the book itself are just so much fun. And the animals, because I'm such an animal fan, I just, they grab me every time. I found a couple of reference guides too, so they will stay with me in my reference guide library. That library, I don't care how big it gets. <laughs> this is from 2009. It has no value. You could probably get this online for under $5. There's just, these are like a dime a dozen. But they are so helpful to learn. And I love that they have the colored pictures. A lot of these, they're like price guides. They'll have black and white. Um, but Koval's paid the money to get their books printed in full color. So they're worth picking up and learning from. The books in our bins are individually priced at 50 cents. I don't know if I said that before showing you the other books. But 50 cents a piece for the books. The other reference guide that I found is called the... Beer Can Collector's Bible. If it had a dust jacket on it, I would probably consider selling it because it is worth a little bit of money. I think about 19 or 20 bucks, um, but it doesn't. And so it will go straight to my reference guide, but it is a really cool reference to all of the beer cans out there. And like I said, this was done in 1976. Very cool looking. Again, I had a blast just going through. I'm like, I never heard of that kind of beer. <laughs> Very neat, full color. Love this. Into my reference guides. While I'm back in this area, let's look at some of the paper things I found. I found some vintage stickers. This is a 1982 Hallmark sheet of shells. There were four of them, but one of them is missing quite a few. I have... A sticker collection that I started when I was in about fifth or sixth grade. <laughs> so these are going into that. If you have not looked up stickers on eBay, filter by sold and highest and you will be shocked. <laughs> now I have not found these having any value on their own, but in a collection or with other vintage stickers, these things rock. <laughs> I would highly suggest you go to eBay and take a look. You will be flabbergasted. There were more shells. So I imagine the person that donated those also donated these. Now you see some missing here, but there is a full sheet here. Now these were made by Meyer Corp and these are 1978. How cool is that? I also picked up these stickers. They are not vintage. They are pretty new. These will be used for some of my packages when I do my mail outs to um, my customers. Then I found some transfers. These are for embroidery, but what was in here we learned was also some really nice vintage large embroidery pieces. So look at these cats. <laughs> How awesome is that? Look at that guy. 
Now, I don't embroider, but I imagine somebody who does and loves vintage is going to love to have some of these. There were the cats, and then look at these, this Asian. So pretty. And then in here, I won't go through the rest of them, but in here, some of these little detailed ones, kind of around the edge ones. I got a baby on board. This is going to my friend AJ, who just had her first baby. So I sent her a picture. I said, do we need one of these? She said, I don't have one yet, so I gotta get this to her. This is a nice pack. It's probably about 50 sheets of tattoo transfer paper. Um, I have a few friends that do tattoos, so I just have to reach out on eBay and say, hey, do you need one of these? And then we found this craft stuff. <laughs> My mom does paper arts, um, so she knew exactly what these were. She said they're probably worth money, and we went ahead and looked them up, and sure enough, they are. <laughs> these are blades. I'll show you here. They have value and then these blades fit into these pieces and they cut out like circles or ovals for different, you know, crafts. Um, they fit right into like grooves in here. And then there's some additional templates in here, but this is probably gonna be a 40 to $50 value when I list it. I may have paid a buck for this. And so a dollar into $40 would be amazing. <laughs> Mom found some floral foam, always good to have on hand. This probably costs four or five dollars if you pick it up at Michael's. This was cute. These were in the box, brand new, little tins, Radford spices. So there's the pepper and here's the salt. They're very nice, brand new. I'll show you what they're worth. Now I don't normally pick up clear glass, but when it's this pretty, <laughs> And it's small, and I can imagine it on somebody's dresser as like a little vanity dish. Um, yeah, and when you pick it up in the bins, and it's probably, I may have paid a dollar. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not cut, it's just pressed glass. There's nothing on the bottom as far as a maker's indication. It's just very sweet. And I think somebody will pick it up, probably put it at the shop for maybe five or six dollars. And then these were a nice surprise because when I flipped them over, I saw that they were marked. Now this one's kind of dirty on the inside. It says Art Venice, France. So these are little crystal pieces. They need to be cleaned. <laughs> it looks like I can probably ask for somewhere between $20 and $30 for these. Just one of these is listed right now for $29.99, which I think is ridiculous. Two of these sold in a Goodwill auction for 10 bucks. <laughs> so I think I'm somewhere between 30 and 10, but I will be putting these on eBay. And they are really pretty. They had a bunch of these mugs. They're made by Pampered Chef called Simple Editions. These are a nice big like soup mug size mug. And there were probably six or eight of them there. Some of them had utensil marks in them. So I picked the four best and I have a set of four. They're really cute. And if you have Fiesta wear or you have any sort of bright colored plates, wouldn't these look beautiful with them? We found one other mug and it is this beautiful studio pottery hand turned mug. It is signed. I can't read the signature. And I took a picture like this <laughs> and sent it to my sister when we were at the bins and said, for your collection. And she said, yes, please. <laughs> so this is going to her. I would say if I listed it on eBay, I would probably see about $15 for it. It seems like that's what um, these kind of mugs go. I'm looking at like an average of about $15. So I've been saving the best for last because mom and I went into the clothing and textiles bins. So it's not this. But this is pretty cool. Somebody embroidered this. It's a very cool vintage pillow. These are in like my favorite colors, the greens and the, the oranges. So it just needs a pillow and it needs to be finished. And I have decided that this will be one of my winter projects. So I will be looking for this size pillow to just, you know, put in there so I don't have to stuff it. I'll just find a square, small square pillow and this will go on top of it. 
and that will be something that I can do. And then I imagine I'll sell it over at the shop for probably 15 or $18. All right, drum roll. That's pretty pathetic, right? <laughs> I do love this. I was so happy when my mom found it. It is not finished, but somebody built this quilt. This is just a fraction of it. It is nice and large. It is in the most beautiful random boho print and each one of the middle squares. So I'm going to, I'm going to come in on this one here is a peacock. Are you ready? How beautiful is that? And it's huge. It would definitely cover my bed. All right. For example, this is just a quarter of it. Ready? <laughs> that's a quarter of it so imagine four times that size it'll definitely cover a queen size bed and hang nicely off the sides i have to find somebody to finish this because <laughs> this is not a project that i can take on but it just needs like a backing you know maybe a layer of batting or something comfy and and thicker and then a backing i have to find somebody who can do that because i really want this on my bed somebody put in a lot of work i don't think it's hand stitched it's it's machine stitched but i imagine that when the backing goes on if somebody does this kind of thing um, they could hand stitch the back maybe i don't know i just love it <laughs> it's my favorite thing that we found and uh thanks to mom because i don't even think i would have looked in that bin <laughs> i will probably design my entire bedroom around this once it gets finished so i'm now on a mission to find somebody to finish it and then of course i will give you an update <laughs> if and when that happens that is it my friends that is the whole haul now if you have a goodwill bins goodwill outlet anywhere near you and you have not been please go i think about this i came home with this on a day that we spent a couple of hours there but what goes through there every day and who's getting it are they or is it going to the landfill please get over to one or at least get to you know a thrift shop um shop locally shop your local thrift store owners and you know save some of this stuff from heading towards the landfill. If you're thinking about reselling, the bins is the place to be because some of this stuff, even if you're flipping it for a few dollars, you're gonna make money in quantity. Um, and that's a good thing. You might find Christmas stuff for yourself. So go look, what's it gonna hurt? <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you so much. If you're still with me at this point, you know this already, but I love you the most. If you are still around and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, it helps my channel so much. Um, and then click that little alarm button because you'll know when I put up a new video and I do that a couple of times a week. While you're clicking, click that like or dislike button. I don't care. <laughs> and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what I found that you would have uh, also picked up from the bins or just say hello. And then finally, share out the channel with somebody that you know. Maybe they like thrifting or treasure hunting or reselling or whatever it is. Um, tell them that you found a new friend and ask them to subscribe. It will help my channel grow and I will love you so much for it. All right, everybody, take care. I will see you on Thursday. Bye.